Welcome back. We're working on a course for Amazon Web Services for entrepreneurs, business owners, and bloggers. So in this course, or this lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure S3 Fox as well as Cyberduck. So in our previous lesson, we talked a little bit about that, and I really kind of want to go by example and show you how to set this up. Now one thing to keep in mind that if you're an individual, you don't have to worry about security permissions very much. But let's say that you are an individual who owns a business or has contractors and you want them to interact with S3 so you have access to that information. Well, in a following lesson, we're actually going to set up something called IAM, which is Secure AWS Access Control which will allow us to have your own login so a user can log in and access certain resources or even buckets only access certain buckets available uh, to them so all of your data can be stored in one place now we'll be able to set it up so they don't have access to anything but for example a single s3 bucket and you can ask them to put their content and work off of that so you can still maintain ownership and control of your resources that you're paying them to build for you so before we get into that, this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up your root control. So you can access all of your S3 buckets, and we're going to use S3 Fox, like I talked about in the previous lesson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Firefox, and I'm going to go to my add-ons, and then we're going to do a search for S3 Fox. I already have it installed, but when it comes up, just click on the install option, and we'll notice that I already have it installed here, S3 Fox. It's already installed. So install yours, it'll ask you to restart Firefox. Once you've restarted Firefox, you'll want to go to Tools, and then S3 Organizer, and then we have our S3 bucket. Now what we need to do though, is we need to set up our credentials. We need to tell it, hey, I have access, I'm the root guy. Now this is the same thing that maybe your employee or contractor will use, but their credentials will only have access to limited buckets, or really whatever you give them access to. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on my name in the top right hand corner and then we'll select security credentials and this will redirect you to IAM resources and what we want to do is we want to create an access key. So I'm going to create a new root access key. I'm going to download the key file. It's going to open it up for us and you'll see that I have an AWS access key and so I'm going to copy the AWS access key and then open Firefox back up. We'll select manage accounts. We'll call it my S3 account. We'll enter our access key where it asks for it. And then for our AWS key, we'll also enter the secret key. We'll enter it. We'll select add. We'll hit close. And you'll notice that instantly over here, we have connected to our content. So we have our ADJ files. There's a file that we uploaded. I can manage that here. I can manage the uh, access control list or the permissions that says what users have access to something. I can access, I can delete it. I can get the URL associated with it. I can even upload files. So if I upload a log file, we see that we've uploaded a file. If we go back over to our S3, we'll notice that it's uploaded the file to Amazon S3. So if you're familiar with the file transfer protocol, this works exactly like that. It, well, conceptually, uh, visually, it works like that. Again, the backend processes are actually different since they're objects and not folders and files. So th that was just a real quick tool on uploading files and directories. It's really useful, especially if you use Firefox, it's always available to you. So. Our next option is what I told you about Cyberduck. Now there's a lot of different options available out there. These are just two I'm going over with you. Both of these are available on both OS X and Windows. So we have Cyberduck. I'm going to go ahead and click on Amazon S3 and it wants our secret access key. Well the last thing I copied to my clipboard was my secret access key. So I'll go ahead and hit login and it's trying to authenticate right now. And it didn't, it didn't like that because I didn't enter my access key ID. So we'll enter our access key ID just like we did on S3 Fox. We'll hit log in. And you'll notice that we now have our S3 buckets here associated for us. We can browse down, open it up, and we'll show all of our files in there. Well, this is our archive. There's no files in our archive. And here's a file we can upload, we can synchronize it, and you can do everything that 
uh, CyberDuck would normally allow you to do. So these are just two tools, and what I want to do is show you the concepts of connecting. When you're connecting your Amazon resources to a third-party tool, you're going to use a secret access key and secret ID, or an access key and a secret ID. And when you give access to different contractors or employees, they'll have their own. You'll never want to give out your access key and ID because the ones that we just created are root, which means we have privileges to everything. Well, when we create it for a third party or an employee, we only want to give them an access key that gives them permissions to their bucket. Okay, so what we did is we've done root. This is for you to start using, and we'll have a lesson on how to create permissions and users for permissions. Great job. If you have questions or if you have other third-party tools you figured uh, or found during the process of this, you'd like to suggest to everybody else, go to Community and Resources and post that on there, and we'll add it to our notes. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next lesson.